I found a shroomy. We're gonna go get food. Yes, I shouldn't be eating, but I'm gonna eat. Cause I got the shakes. Look, if I video me right here, like I'm used to, you got, you're so tall, look how tall. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool place. This is a really cool area. Dude, I am so jealous. I never would have thought that I would have wanted to hang out in Michigan and Michigan's awesome. <laughs> right? Beat shit and went backside. I went up in the air and came down with all my weight right on my shoulder and, my, and it threw my neck back like that. <gasps> it hurt like hell, but I was drunk. I was like, fuck it, I'm good. They're like, you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. Watch this kickflip, you know? <laughs> We do these sorts of things is because, um, at least I think what what drew me to you in that sense was at first it seemed like we were just after the information. You know, we were just trying to ask these questions, and it was kind of cool to find a community that was asking the same questions. Like even now, every comment I get, I'm just like, oh wow, someone else is thinking about it. You know, and so um, yeah, you know, like we 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 do it more. I would imagine, I like to think kind of for the mushroom's sake, I hope I'm re representing the mushroom in an accessible and accurate way so that other people can kind of find it and they won't have to spend like the three See, years that I did reading books. And, that's you know, why, like, <laughs> that's exactly why I'm making sure because I know what I had to go through the days, weeks, I don't know, it was weeks of suffering and being, after I found it and I realized what it could do, I'm not on camera. Once I found the mushroom and I realized what it could do, I didn't, I had to wait weeks before I could take it because I couldn't find any accurate information and it was conflicting. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is stupid. And then when I found psyched, I had been watching psyched substance and he's why I know about psilocybin and that led me to Joe Rogan and learning about statements. But because Psych Substance took Amanita, I watched him fucking do it and not die. I'm like, okay. That book, you were... One of the things that intrigued me about you when I first saw... You commented or something and I clicked on your channel. And one was the hat. And then two was you had a video on books. And I'm like, oh my god, those books. And I was like, please message me back. Please yeah. talk to me. I want to know about your books. And you said you'd bring them? Yeah, yeah, I, I do have them. Um, so for me, uh, finding my, my whole journey with finding the right information on these was I started hearing about different books uh, from a, a, a talk by Paul Stamets, I believe, and he was referencing like some great books that when he was a kid, you know, kind of got him started in his whole search for entheogens and stuff like that. And so um, one of the first ones he mentioned was this Golden Guide to hallucinogenic plants by uh, by Schultz, which um, I think when I found that one, it was it was. I'll put a link to all these in the description if they're available. They're, they're, they may I, be out of print. Yeah, they are. I think that they're out of print, so you'll find little collectors or you know people pawning them off. That one, uh, you know, it's it's used and stuff. I think it cost me around hundred bucks or something like that. A hundred dollars. You know? Right, The yeah. retail price, a dollar ninety-five. Right, right. I and think so, you overpaid, dude. Oh, definitely. Um, but I found that one, and this one is interesting because it talks about Amanio Gisawiai, but I believe Schultz says that there's no active alkaloids in them. What? And my thinking for that was that at the time, you know, his kind of, you know, like, academia was weird about entheogens and stuff, and so I felt like maybe if he... if if he were to say that they were in the American ones, that it would just hurt his career or something like that. And, uh, and so from there, I bought, this is uh, the Ethno-Pharmacological Search for Psychoactive what? Drugs oh by Dennis God. McKenna. That's and McKenna? This is Dennis McKenna, yep, he, uh, and, and, and many others. Um, the two volumes, the first one was from the 50s, I think right before the drug war. And right, you know, right when they were doing, uh, or just a lot of research on Amanita. Here, I can open it up for you. There's that. And then the second one was 2013, when, like, 50 years later, when they were able to come back and, and try again. Oh, 1967, I'm sorry. Um, so this Amanita stuff, it talks a lot about the original history of it. And I'll link to this in the description if it's available. <laughs> and there's a part where they're... they're can you they're, get my glasses? 
Are they up there? And I guess another thing for me too is like, I, I didn't know much about chemistry and stuff, so I had this dense information like in this book and I would read it, but I guess I didn't know if I was, you know, comprehending, you know, all of it, like pro like all the way. But um, one thing about in here, I believe there's a section where they're in a panel with a bunch of different uh, professors and stuff. And then, I heard about that. Yeah, and um, what, something about it that I found interesting was there's a mention of some sort of research that was being done, but they lost a crucial part of their research. And the person that lost it was Schultz. And so I kind of like, <laughs> was like thinking, I was like, okay, if this guy's making mistakes, you know, I'm like, maybe, you know, maybe. Maybe it's because he lost his research that all of it didn't get printed in here. That's a good thought. I, I, I definitely should go back and, and, we and should do these books find out if again. he's still alive. Schultz lost some information or something. And so when I read that, I was like, well, maybe if this guy's messing up, maybe there is active alkaloids in yellow muscaria, you know? And so I was like, still got to keep searching. I still get like, at this point, I was almost going off of like the confirmation bias. Like I wanted to find the information that would support this. Right, one, right, right. It's not good. You shouldn't <laughs> do that. <laughs> That's awesome. But, um, so I kept going. And then from there, I bought, uh, this, this one was, fantastic. this one was one of my favorites. This is, uh, Christian Ratch's Encyclopedia of Psychoactive Plants. And so what? I bought this There's one. There's that many? Yeah. Yo, look! Well, I mean, it goes, it, you know, it talks yeah. about like coffee and stuff, you know, like any any plant that will have an effect on. on Psychopathy, like a wagon Good lord. But so I, I tracked that one down because there's an, a section of how many muscaria in there. I believe it's more towards the back. But this book was actually a big uh, help for me with a lot of the folklore. It's where I learned about dwarves' wine and um, just kind of other, other methods of. Uh, because they tell you how to prepare and, and how other, you know, like how other cultures prepared and dosed it out and stuff. I wouldn't go off a lot of these because they're, they're pretty raw, you know, like, um, I think you and I talked about one, like, soaking Amanitas in vodka and then, and then pouring a shot. Like, that's one of the things they say in there. But, I mean, obviously we found out that that's going to make you really sick. <laughs> but this one was fascinating. And this was finally the book that was like, yes, the Gasawi eyes contain... Yeah, uh, so I was like, yes, thank you. So Finally. how long, so did you try any of this before you found my channel? No, no. The the first time that I saw your video was like kind of probably just after this book here. Years ago, I remember Googling Amanita or YouTubing Amanita and there's nothing, you know, except for maybe like someone. So yeah, yeah. I found one. It was a vast but, wasteland for right, sure. Right. But when I when I found you, like your video was really intriguing to me because, I mean, you were just such a just so normal about it. You're just like, hey, I'm in my kitchen, you know, like here I am, like you look, you know, just like someone you know that I would know or something like that, and told your story. And you do. And I do know. <laughs> we do. Hey. <laughs> and uh. Yeah, and I think, you know, I was like, wow, okay, if this, you know, if, if she's, you know, got some experience with it, I, com or I messaged you, I commented to you, and then you responded back. And I think I asked you, I'm like, do you know, or have you ever had any experience with the yellow ones? And I think you said that yours were yellow orange or something like yeah. that. And so I was like, okay, we're getting closer here, you know, <laughs> like... You're just a hell of a lot more fun it. than me. <laughs> well, you do you do so much of the hard work, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and it's like, I, I got to thank you for that. Because, you know, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have smoked it the first time, I don't think, had I not seen your videos and stuff. Really? And I wouldn't have smoked it until right. I saw you smoke it. <laughs> right, and I'm right. like, okay, cool. And, uh, so... And, and I watched what you like, did, and you heard me on the smoking video. I'm like, Shrey yeah, yeah, you're like, oh, this sucks! Is so harsh. And, you know, I that video, know. by the way, YouTube took it down, and I got a strike. Is so it took I down your, it. your smoking video? Yeah, but oh, not okay. yours. Yeah, well, uh, So yeah. I had to move it to BitChute. There'll be the link in the description for that. So I have a book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've... So... Well, <laughs> by the way... Yeah, right then. So um, I went to Italy in January, and just kind of on a family vacation and stuff, but my whole thing about it there was I, was I had my eye split for mushrooms in religious depictions or like relig religious artworks. Um, I was looking, you know, for Amanita, but also psilocybin is very prominent in that sort, in, in, in lots of different religions and stuff. 
And um, I don't, maybe I can send you this photo if you want to like post it or not, but um, man, I actually have to find it real quick. But in St. Mark's Basilica, which was made or built in 800 AD, I think like that. Jesus. It's um, it's like it's Isn't that in, in Michael St. Michael's Square in? Yeah, yeah, it's in the, it's in the square. Um, in 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 Venice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. St. Mark's Basilica in in Venice. Um, there's uh, it's like three stories tall, and inside all of the artworks are mosaic gold. You know what I mean? They're, they're pieces this big, yeah. and they're all laid in. So it's yeah. like. You're not gonna make a mistake, <laughs> you know. Like you're not gonna put something in the picture that's no. not supposed to be in there. That's how the Vatican is. Yeah, the, the floor Vatican of the was, Vatican. Yeah, it was also awesome. all these tiny tiles laid in there and created all these pictures. Right, and so and you know you're not supposed to take photos in the basilica, but I couldn't help myself because I walked in there and the first thing I saw was this depiction of what? Jesus, and there's six syllab. What I believe to be six psilocybin mushrooms that, right behind hey, me. Hey, can you see if this is on camera? I can. I can always send it to you. <laughs> yeah, too, yeah, if yeah. You want to Insert yeah. it or whatever. Can you see that? But um, and like like I see said, the that, mushrooms. That's mosaic gold. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's not cool. an accident. No, you know? that is not. And, um, that's cool. And so I, in 800 AD. I believe so. I that's mean, when that was made. I might have to. I might have to get all my my facts checked. But I mean, it was built over time, so you know, I don't exactly know when this piece went up. But um, other than that, so so from there, I was like, okay, there's mushroom depictions in the basilica. Someone needs to know, you know, the origin of these, right? And so I found this book. I haven't gotten into it yet, but it's called Failed God, and this guy. From what I know, went uh, kind of off of um, John Allegro wrote the Sacred Mushroom and the Cross, and the author of this book, Failed God, kind of like in the back it says he goes from there, you know, further, and he kind of I guess relates what's in that book and compares it to what's in the Basilica and stuff like that. And that book also had a few other images of of pieces that I missed while I was in there of like. Jesus holding Amanita or, you know, just different, you know, mushroom type sacred plants, you know. Dude, I so. have a video, a foraging video that by the time this goes up on YouTube, it will have already aired. It's like the second video of the 2020 foraging season. Mm -hmm. And at the end of it, I did the most sacrilegious thing of, you know how I do cinematics at the end of my videos? Yeah. And I did all these depictions of the mushroom, us doing something with the mushroom naturally, organically. And then something very religious that is the exact right. same thing that right. they did back then. And it's like, we are not terminally unique here. Like, if we want to do it, other humans did it before us and right. before them and before them and before them. Like, there's only so many things that we want to do with a mushroom. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of things, but it's a limited number of things. And then you the just see that over and, yeah. over and over and over as far back as you want to go. They did it too. They kneeled down to pray to the mushroom as they right. picked it and honor it and they hold it up and honor it. And they want to have their pictures taken with it above their head. Like, what the fuck is that? Mm -hmm. And I saw that you did the same thing in your video. You have them up above your head. And, oh, the yeah. Yeah, and you're laying. And I took a screenshot because I want to put that in a video. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Gerson is a kid that lives near me. And y'all are actually the same age, I think within a few years and he saw my mushrooms laid out like a halo like on the on the ground he said oh, me please and he laid down in it and he smiled and he doesn't smile very much mm -hmm. and he said it was just this organic moment where he just had to smile yeah and so like there's so many things we do that I don't think about I do and then I realized, holy shit, these people did this like 2,000 years ago. And right. then they put it in tile in a church. Like yeah, the way yeah. we put videos up or we share them on Instagram. Yeah, just like this is important. Look at it, you know, if you will, sort of thing. Or, or you know, yeah, it was just, it was just really, really intriguing. Because, you know, I'm in there and I'm like, hey, what's what's up with those mushrooms up there? You know, and the people who are working there. You like, know he gets asked that a lot. Know. You know, I'm just oh, like, really? You don't know? Like, <laughs> you don't know? Like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that, there's not a lot know. of information about it that I can get from anyone. They're just like, oh, it's just, mm. I'm like, you know, there's not like a significance here. It's made out of gold, man. <laughs> you know, like, 
You right. know, Maybe scholars, I just asked are, the wrong people. Yeah. scholars are studying that shit. They study all that shit. Right, right. Somebody knows. And what upsets me is when I reach out to scholars and stuff about anything about this mushroom, I am completely ignored. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have a book or a PhD after my name. The freelance is too aggressive. <laughs> they think maybe I don't know. I don't know because like, I'm yeah. a I'm a girl because I'm a YouTuber. I must not be serious right. because I take it recreationally on camera. I must not be scholarly or intelligent. Right, right. Because I Whatever sort of worship it or think it's holy, then I must not be scientific. Like there's all these assumptions. People want. I mean, it seems like people want to almost project their respect through you and, and you know obviously they're not going to see that like everyone responds differently or respects it differently or you know and there's much to learn about it but i don't think it's i don't think it's right to chastise each other while we're learning you know what i mean but like, everybody even, holds their space right. and it takes all of us and the mushroom gives all of that mm -hmm. so i appreciate it the way i appreciate it it works for me and has significance the way it does for me and then you have a very closely similar, but very much your own thing with it. And yeah. everyone has their own, like there are so many artists on Instagram. If y'all are on Instagram, um, save or subscribe or whatever to the hashtag Amanita and Muscaria and just watch what the fuck you get. Right. Not only do you get great photos, you get um, amazing art. People make all kinds of stuff with this mushroom. So there's the whole art side of it. Mm -hmm. And then there's people that will put a poster or a picture or something up that is, it's a scholarly work about it. And you really get a good picture of all of the ways this mushroom is being loved mm -hmm. by yeah. humans. It's really charming to me. And we should life. all respect each other in the community. It's like a city. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It I, takes I so. all these different yeah. parts to make it work. And that's how I see this, is you're a piece, and other people are pieces of the puzzle, and we're all working it. It's using us, clearly, <laughs> for its end. And yeah, we yeah. all occupy a different space. Yeah, I, I agree. I think it's, um, it's, to me, it's very charming to hear, like, the, um, the things people say the mushroom says to them or the thoughts that they're prompted when they discover it or have an experience with it they, they always seem so um surprising to the self but also sincere to that one's self you know and uh, I, like for me i think this year i found that i can kind of relax a little bit more and i you know like i don't know like in my first videos i you know sometimes my voice was shaking when i was doing my voiceovers or whatever but like now I, I almost kind of adopt the thing of like when when someone comes up on the mushroom they'll kind of know if it's the right one or not you know what I mean like I get all your taxonomic exam you know stuff down yeah. but like you know I'll come upon a good specimen of, of an Amanita muscaria but for some reason I'll be like I you know I don't want to take this one or or this one will speak to me way more or whatever and it's uh, you know it's that yeah, it's 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 just some sort of um yes. It, it, it's a lot of fun for me to think like is this is this uh is it making me have this response or is this just a natural response from myself like in, in one of my in one of my upcoming videos um i kind of give a monologue about how this year when i was foraging i i in my head it was when i was walking through the forest i would hear like laughter or like giggling or i'd get like this sensation yes! of like um you know, that, that tickle you get when you have to be quiet so you don't be seen. You know what I mean? And, and I, I like, know. I would feel this and then like, I'd walk down the trail, not find much. And then when I was walking back, they'd seemingly be right out in the open. And, and Oh my God, and, right? <laughs> y'all, the foraging videos. And that like, happened. I'm like, yo, I just walked right past them. And there's a whole group of them. It's so I literally wild. walked right past them, came back in the other direction. They're like, yeah, screaming yeah. at me. And I'm like, where the fuck did you... <laughs> And so I was like, it was, I felt like, you know, I'd be walking and I'd be looking down and when my eye would make contact with it, I would hear that laughter. I'd hear that, that burst of like, <laughs> See, hey, that's, hey, you, I, like, right. you found me. That's the would, jokester like, entity. All right. Yeah. To me, Which it was like they're playing get? a game. What shirt did I get? Do you have the Joker? I got this shirt. I brought it with me because I always got to plug the good stuff. Oh, right. Yeah. 
No, the, we have the merch that's got both entities, the Wise T-shirt. This one? And the Joker. That's the Joker that we hear, that we're talking about. Like, yeah. It, I, I yeah. Was, it, it was funny to me as I was, like, kind of reflecting on it, like, when I find these mushrooms, I get a sense of nostalgia, which is strange, because I only really started searching for them last year. But, but I remember them like as a child. But they're, like, family. Yeah, and, and so, like, the whole thing of, like, them hiding, them popping up. <laughs> It's it's almost like, yeah. like I, I mentioned something of like, I found them last year, but they want to retain their mystery. You know what I mean? They can't just let you, you know, know everything about them. <laughs> and so they're kind of cheeky in that way. And, and uh, I feel like they almost were playing a game with me. You know, it's like, it's like when you play hide and seek as a kid and you hide right out in the open. You know what I mean? And you're just sitting there. And yeah, you're choking back that laughter because you're watching the seeker like just right in front of you, look around, yeah. just missing you, missing you. <laughs> and it's like at that point, you're not even playing the game to stay hidden. You're a master of your situation to where you're awaiting your own discovery. <laughs> you know, like yes. you, you've taken the game and flipped its entire role. That's so and brilliant. So, you're awaiting your own discovery. Yeah, I mean, and they are. They know that's why they're here. Right, to be right, found. It's like, but instead of just being like, here I am, mm -hmm, they're yeah. playing a game. You walk by them once, you come back, and boop. Hey, here Dude, I am. they you did that me, so know, like, much this year to me. Yeah, it was. It was. And then I, I, I also like to end it by saying something like, this is just something that's helped me to put it out there to other people, but I know it's make-believe, but it's still a lot of fun to believe. You know what I mean? Like, kind of stuff like that. I don't like, know anymore that well, it's right, make-believe. Right. <laughs> it started, it, last year I did. The year before that, I did. This year, I'm on a whole different level with it. I finally learned to trust the mushroom voice. Mm -hmm. I've had a whole year now of trusting the mushroom voice and seeing what it gives me. And this year was a completely different experience foraging. And I now know, because everything you just said, I've also heard three other people say. Right, right. <laughs> separately, individually, none of you have been in touch with each other. I've had long conversations, and all of you have said the exact same experiences with foraging. And I've lived those experiences. Yeah, yeah. It's kind so of So there is something about this mushroom that is doing this to us now. I believe it. Mm -hmm. I finally get it. Yeah, I guess, I'm sorry. When I say that, like, I know it's make-believe, I, I, I use that for me broadly in the sense of everyone has their own beliefs. So maybe in a way everything is make-believe. You know, oh shit! Of really? How, of You're gonna get into discussions of the nature of reality no, 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 no. now? Not, not quite. But ah, just like, we can do that. I'm not, <laughs> I can go there. I just, I, I just want to allow credibility to anyone's beliefs, and so to those in disbelief, maybe we can look at it like it might be make believe, but it's a lot of fun to believe. You know, like I don't know. That's kind of the mantra I've been working with lately. Because I mean, I believe it. <laughs> you know, but. And people, you don't. People tilt their head when you say that. You know? you, I know. <laughs> and and I catch some flack about it. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. I get the disbelief. Mm -hmm. I was that person. And it took a lot of convincing this scientific purist for me to wind up where I am now. Right. And now it's not a belief. How do you believe something when you trip and fall and hurt yourself? It's no longer belief that you're tripping and falling and hurting yourself, like it's reality. Right, it's you just you're, yeah. you you tripped and you fell yeah. and you hurt yourself. Well, I as mean, long as you want to believe that, that's fine. It's like no asshole, I have the scar, like to prove it. Right. Oh, and yeah, now this yeah. mushroom, like, I wear the experiences of it. Yeah, yeah. Like a crazy person, but that's fine. Eccentric. <laughs> Can we say eccentric? That's what I prefer. I mean, crazy is the nice label that everyone's going to give me anyway, but... It's nice. Um, no, I, I really appreciate um, just the work that you've done in the same way um, with your science of the mushroom and also the way that you present it all. This year, I was kind of inspired by your format of videos in which I wanted to be just more sincere with how I spoke to the invisible audience and stuff like that. And, you know, that's something that was in, that I admired from how you do it, you know, like you're very much who you are and it's it's all encompassing, you know, so like 
I'll be out in the woods and I'll be taking like 18 takes, you know, like trying to get my dialogue right. Dude, that freaking video where like, you're okay, like, I just gotta like, <laughs> I'm out here. Can we fall into I'm in the wild? <laughs> and then you screw it up and you're like, take two, and you left all that in. Like, you're <laughs> such a goof. That is so awesome. Yeah, those are just, I don't know. It's just those moments, you know, when you're out there. Because for me, it's like I'm usually alone out there, so that's when I can. Isn't it weird talk to myself or you know being alone in the woods foraging with a camera, talking to the somebody that's not there, mm -hmm. but you can be yourself and act stupid, yeah, because there's no one judging you, yeah. and if you don't like it, you can edit it out. I still get the self count. I mean, that's just like you know you go out of that sort of stuff. <gasps> I, I imagine, but yeah, I always uh, you gotta laugh at yourself. I think <laughs> in that regard, because otherwise life's just too serious. I also have, um, I don't know if it's time maybe to show you these, but I brought, these are the last two, um, Those are Gasali eyes that Y'all have I, never I had or seen them <laughs> I think I'll find some, but I don't know, and these are definitely, <gasps> I didn't know, I, I, for some reason I thought you flew in, and so I was like, I shouldn't bring a lot, of, you know, like, like just I, I was gonna fly in. I told you I was, but I changed my mind at the last minute. Yeah, right on. But, I mean, I could mail you some, you know, if you just want to yeah, have some. Yeah, and I need to bring you whatever. some. Percy's. Oh, you said, yeah. I mean, the smoking buttons are amazing and stuff. That's, those are awesome. You like them? Yeah, oh yeah, they do. Very much so. I, I would almost, I don't know if I should use this time to maybe say a message about, to any of you cannabis users who are trying the smoking blend, it is a little, it, it's not quite comparable. And I think I was mentioning to you about this, the whole dream aspect of it. Cannabis can kind of you know, black out your dreams or make you forget your dreams and, and if you kind of have the two, you know, you're not you're not getting the full of one or the other sort of thing. So you're saying lay off the smoke. I'd say probably lay off the cannabis the... if you're trying to experiment with an Amanita uh, to sincerely see how it calibrates with you. This is such a great gift. <laughs> Thank you. I'll send more for sure. I had yeah. I, just, we'll, we'll I was in a hurry this show. morning, and, and I like I was like, oh, I should bring some just just to show her. And uh, I opened up my jar, and I didn't have any bags, but at the top of my jar were those two. Those were the last ones I found of the season. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll just bring this real quick. Yeah. But I'll get more to you. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks for making the drive. No, thank you. You you don't want to do. I can't believe I really get to meet you. <laughs> ah! Yes, it's been wonderful. This has been. Y'all have got well. to check out Shroomy Schmatty. <laughs> he's the coolest guy and he's irregular with his uploads. And the problem with people on YouTube is they expect all this content and regular uploading. But I'm telling you, put him on the back burner, sub to the channel, and then sit and wait for it like the most amazing gift <laughs> because when he uploads, it's so freaking fantastic, and then it's over. So it's like this rare truffle. It's like the mushroom season. That's hard to find, <laughs> and then when you find it, it's great. So he does <laughs> him. He's not trying to build a channel, but I'm telling you, when he uploads, it's a gift. So I'm sub to him, and he'll go long periods without uploading, and then all of a sudden something will pop up. I'm like, yes! Oh my god! <laughs> It's like, yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you for so, your patience, and, and thank you to anyone who's already, you know, been patient with me as far as being a subscriber and stuff. It, it's uh, yeah, it, it does mean a lot. And for me, I'm I'm coming to realize that like, there's more than just the social media aspect of it. It's great to feel a community that's interested in just the sort of topics that you're talking about. So thank you, really appreciate it. I may it. try <laughs> to uh, talk him into getting on the forum. He knows about it. He has his I own- I do need to get on the forum. Are you gonna get Everyone on the forum? Everyone needs to get on the forum. Yeah, I just, again, my, my year has been busy. But that's We've excuses, all been busy. those are excuses. But... Get on the forum, man. Shrimmy Schmatty, go find him. Yeah.